All right, so on the same night that fans at Fenway gave Adam Jones a standing ovation, a fan was ejected and banned from the park for life for a racial slur. Andy Scholes has more in the Bleacher Report. You know, another layer uh, on a lot of the smack that you hear talked about fans at Fenway. Yeah, just another unfortunate situation, Chris. On Tuesday night, the national anthem at Fenway was sung by a young Kenyan woman, and after she sang, a fan in the stands used a racial slur. And that's when Calvin Hennick, who was at the game with his interracial son and black father-in-law, confronted that fan. And then the white fan right next to me, middle-aged uh, man, leaned over and said, uh, she sang too long and she n-worded it up. It was the day after the Jones incident, and he was sort of proving, I can say whatever I want to say to whoever I want to say it to. I think it was pointed at us. Now, Hennick summoned security. The fan was ejected and banned for life from Fenway Park. The Red Sox issuing a statement saying they will not tolerate racial slurs from fans, and they have referred the matter to the Boston De Police Department, who is investigating. And Allison, the president of the Red Sox, says he believes this is the first time ever that a fan has been banned from Fenway Park. Well, there you go. The policy is changing. Zero tolerance. Thank you Absolutely. very much, Andy. All right.